You are listening to Let's Talk More Action. Today on the set, we got Brandy. What's going on? It's a short set today, and it? It's just me and you. Just us. It's just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good to be here again, uh, taking care of business. This has been a busy month. It has been a very busy month. My goodness. And we have been focused this month. Lord, just All focused. month long, we've been yes. talking about vote. Vote, 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 today vote. Today is the final day. We, we, we hey. If you still haven't voted, it's here. If you still haven't voted, mm, get there now. What's going on? Why, 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 why ain't you voted yet? Right. There is no excuse. <laughs> you know how many options you had to vote? That's right. That's if you right. have not used any of those options, you got one more option. That's it. And today is the last day to do that. And let me say, even if that's today's your last day and you go and it's four hours. You better stand in line. Stay in. <laughs> we're stay in that line. That is your American right to stand in line. That's right. Mm-hmm. And make a difference. You have stand in line for shoes. Come on. You have stand in line for that Popeye's chicken sandwich. I knew sandwich. you was gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand in line to put your uh, vote in. Oh yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Oh man. So as we uh, reflect over this month. Um, today's show is going to be uh, short and sweet because uh, even more so than listening to us today, we need you to go out and vote. Yes. And if you want to, you know, finish this podcast while you're standing in line. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead and do that. You can do that. We're going to encourage you through your line. <laughs> yes, we will. I would sing a couple songs for you, but then no, you turn us yeah, off and we're trying to keep you on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So uh, it, uh, we've had a really good uh, month of uh, focus uh, on voting, and we've had several people come through. Yes. I think one of my favorite shows has to be uh, when we did a show on um, first-time voters. Yes, that yeah. was a very good show. That was a really good show. Uh, what what was it? what was it? Uh, the one and only. The one and only. The one and Mr. only. Mr. Williams. Trace Williams came yes. through, and Denisha Smith, intern here at uh, the studio, came through, and we uh, reflected on. Uh, it was good to get the perspective of young people and what they're thinking and how they're, um, you know, processing going, everything. Right, right. Yes, because that that. That show was a little eye opening. It uh, was. It was. I think Denisha said that she uh, didn't vote the last time because she felt pressure, mm-hmm. and, I, and I never thought about it like that. But yeah, it's it's, it's some pressure in here, and and, and so instead of uh, just going and and saying she participated, she she stood out. But uh, she vote. She's voting this time, so right. I think she's already voted. Yeah, but and, uh, when you learn, you know, that pressure is pers- is responsibility. That's right. That's, that's right. what it is. It's not it's not taking it lightly. So right. That's, right. That's, that's that's a that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. And you know, the other show I like was with Kim. Kim yes, Dixon. She yes, did a great job. Yes. You know, talking about the women in the minority minority perspective and being an Asian American. Um, you know, it was a different perspective. I've never really yeah, you know, of course, you know, when you live your own life, you don't know what other people's um, experiences are, or what their struggles are. So it's nice when you can have people come on and, and really express that. And you're like, man. And at the same time, you also understand some of their perspectives. You're like, man, I was I think that way, too. Or I was, right. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and in that show, I remember we were talking about uh, there are more things that we have in common than we do that uh, are are separate. So. Uh, just just being able to reflect like that and, and open, you know, candidly, you know, uh, um, Brandy, you invite people into your living room here and, and people feel comfortable uh, right. talking and, and expressing themselves. And I think that's uh, that's kudos to you for just, you know, making people feel at home and be able to open up and uh, talk freely. 
Oh, thank you. You know, at work, they call me everybody's mama. So <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know I was like that until they're like, gosh, you're everybody's mom. That's okay, y'all. I'll fuss set you and feed you a plate at the same time. That's Ain't okay. That it. Mm-hmm. Ain't that it. Get in there. <laughs> yes. But the, the common goal in all of these um, interviews we've done has been voting. It is so important. Everyone, I don't care who you voting for. Go vote. Absolutely. I don't care Absolutely. what your views are. You know, I just want you to go out there and express who you are right. by voting. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so that's uh, that was uh, really interesting. Uh, which one was Sharon in? I can't remember. Oh. She did um, the one with um, Clark, uh, Dr. Clark Williams. That's Pastor right. Williams and right. um, with um, Anthony S- Simpson did yes it. that that yes that yes. was uh, that was a great show too that was a great show uh, where we we highlighted uh, um, uh, ex felon mm-hmm. that has uh, their voting rights and that was a really good show hey we you know we're pumping up you know what what we've been doing but you go back and check them out I mean there's some very rich conversations that we had with people all month long about this voting and it's just that serious I mean. We could have done different things and different shows, but it just shows how important this topic is right now in our community and in in, in, uh, our organization. Yeah, and we we say community action, action within the community. And what we've done is we, what I like about the show is that you can listen to the show and be like, hey, I know that person. I know so-and-so. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even know they did that. You know, so it's good that you, you know, this is something that you can listen to and pay attention and and say, okay, so now I'm getting perspective from someone that's like me that understands me and is going through the same processes that I'm going through. And, and, you know, you can do that. And, you know, we love having guests on our show. Um, If you are someone who's involved if you're someone who has an opinion, we love people like that on the show. Absolutely. So. We we got to have them. And even in that show, that show, I think Kamisha walked away with uh, some car work. And yes, she did. I, I walked away <laughs> with getting some stuff done, too. Uh, you know, my little console, the arm is busted up. I got to get that fixed. And he said, we may not be able to repair it, Cam, but we can't replace it. Right. <laughs> I always, you know, you know, you always say, can you fix this? No, I don't need it fixed. I need that taken out and put right. a new one in. Right, oh, right, right. But that was great because he wasn't, even in that show, he really wasn't trying to promote himself or promote mm-hmm. his business. And that's when Sharon was like, no, you, you, you to. need to do this shout out to yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yes, to to the world, to the, to the audience. Yeah. yeah, that was a great, great, great time. So. We've had some great uh, guests uh, this month, and as we prepare for uh, the election, um, we are expecting um, a little time before we actually know the results of what uh, we've all participated in. But uh, no matter what, I voted. Right, that's right. My vote counts. Right. And uh, I'm waiting anxiously to see. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm excited because this is going to be, you know, back in the day. Okay, one of the biggest was the O.J. Simpson trial. Okay. We were in school and watched the trial. (laughs) Ain't that it? You know, I'm like, okay, I am in the 10th grade and watching the O.J. Simpson trial. What does this have to do with anything? This is math class. (laughs) So, you know, this is going to be huge. I mean, everybody's going to, other countries are going to be watching. Absolutely. And seeing what's happening here. So you want to be a part of that movement of people watching, saying, oh, okay, so this is what happened and this Mm -hmm. this is who they elected and okay so this is going to change this state turned purple this state is blue this state you know people are really going to be watching if the glove fits that's right (laughs) (laughs) but you know what you say that and and i think about some of the other um who was it that um they had to recount and all of that for the presidential election i think it was bush i can't remember but being a part of history, mm-hmm. being in this pandemic and all the things that are going on, we are making history. We are making history yes. today. I mean, it's 2020 has been a year. It's been a year. But when we be there are some uh, milestones, there are some 
bumps in the road. There are some that don't feel like everybody else. This is going to be one of those times that when you look back in history, you're going to be like, man, I remember the pandemic. I remember all of this. I remember being a part of this election. Yes, this is where you will be in the history books. That's it. That's when they it. read and your great-grandbaby's reading, they'll be like, oh, my great-granddaddy. <laughs> He was in, he, he lived through 2020. It's not going to be, you know, just, um, oh, you know, and we can't remember dates like 1960. What right. year was that? Oh, 2020. 2020. You're going to remember 2020. <laughs> that is not hard. That is going to, I'm pretty sure there will be a song called 2020 eventually. Oh some kind of slang, some kind of, uh, oh, yeah, Lord. something going on with that. It's going to be an acronym. Stop acting 2020. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is the year. This is uh, the year. Is so, wrong. yeah, you. Put yourself in the history books and go vote out. Go vote. And we have so many different locations yes. that you can go vote. You know, we still have. Um, Is she going down the list? Let's watch it. The polo location. You know, in Lexington, you got Taste Creek Branch Library, uh -huh. a bunch of libraries, Northside Branch Library, Beaumont. This is all on separate sides of town. You have the Dunbar Center that's open, the Lexington Senior Center. And BCTC on campus, so all you college students, you can go right over there, park your car in the parking lot, make sure it don't get towed. <laughs> I don't know what they're towing since there's no classes right I now. And go to BCTC and go vote. Yes. Go vote. This is important. This is what we need to be doing. This is our American right, people. That's right. That's right. And like we've been saying all month long, this is... The, the circumstances are different. Uh, we did a show with Tanya Fogel, and she 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 said something that kind of struck to me uh, because I said, you know, uh, this election is so special because of all the different um, places that we're able to vote because of the pandemic. And I said, but next year it probably won't be that way. And she right. corrected me and said, mm -hmm. if we vote the right people in, if this is something that we find favorable, if this is something that we find valuable, we can make sure that this happens. And I, again, you know, I'm voting, but I'm not even thinking like that. And, you know, that's a lot of stuff. It's like when we were talking to someone else about electoral votes, when we were talking to uh, George. George Brown. Yeah. And I was like, he's like, you know, we can get another electoral. I'm like, what are you talking about? Right. What, right. what, what, what do you mean? Right. So we did the census. So we have that extra person. And then we can actually our vote can actually even change more. You know, a lot of people say Kentucky, there's never they're never going to change. It's a red state. No, it's about voting. Right. It's about your right. electoral votes, you know, get that in and you can really change stuff I'm like i've learned so much this month Absolutely. and i'm telling you i think i know a lot so when <laughs> i've learned something it is amazing well, i'll tell you one thing that i did not know and, and we we talked about it um there were only six states no not states six counties mm -hmm. that had more than 50 percent of registered voters that voted that's it. That's six counties. And the highest percentage, I think, was 54 or 56 percent. And that was Frankfurt, I believe. I think so. Well, I'm going to tell you, though, with Frankfurt, with voting in Frankfurt, the local people in Frankfurt, 54, that's only 4 percent more. I'm just saying So we, that there are a lot of people who have an opportunity to vote. And I pray. I pray that we've done enough. I pray I know. We, we've said it enough. I've, I, I don't know how much more we can say it. And then, and then there are still some that you're still not going to reach. Right, right. But just imagine 75. Can, can we get to 7? I mean, I would love to be at 100, but can we get to 75%? I mean, just 65% is okay. an increase. All right, yes. That's just 10, well, what, was that 15%? That's 15%. That's it. That's it. But then you also have to look at, you know, we've been discussing um, voting rights. We've had uh, people who've had felonies who are able to vote now. That's what, 170,000 people yeah, that can so, vote yeah. now? That's, that's a huge cool. difference. That can change that, that can 50% change. mark. If we if, if you, we vote. If we vote. You know, you all you have to do is go on there to, uh, the, what is it, go on the websites, on one of the state's websites. What is it, C Citizens? Uh 
citizens are reform. So, yes. Yes. Go on there and check to make sure you are able to vote. If you don't know if you can vote, you can contact the DLC, the Department of Corrections, and they will let you know if you have your voting rights back and go and stand in line and vote. And you can stand in line because you ain't never had a stand in line before. <laughs> so you can go and stand in line <laughs> and vote. So one of the things to uh our last show that we did, uh, we talked about voter suppression and some things to um, be looking out for and to not accept. But um, she was very um, uh, t- uh, Tanya. 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 Ta- we all call her Tanya. We call her Tanya, but when she did a promo for us, it was ta- Tana. Tana. So I, I don't know Tana. We're going to call, call her Tana. So anyway, she expressed about a peaceful, a a a, a de-escalation is what she used. Right, uses right. In, in dealing with uh, challenges that you may find at the polls today. So we want to make sure that uh, we res- we're responsible for our response. We know that uh, there are some things that may happen, but our response to it needs to be in the proper. So we can call uh, our local uh, police department. We can uh, check out the county clerk. Mm-hmm. We can do several things. You can go into the building and let the uh, the voter uh, poll people, let them understand and know that you're experiencing uh, some uh, intimidation out in the parking lot or people are trying to block you or whatever it may be. Yes, you may end up seeing some of that, but our response to it is to keep pushing because guess what? Excuse me, I'm still going in here to vote. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what exactly. you're I'm going in here to vote. So, And the reason, and if you think your vote isn't important, why would they be standing out there trying to intimidate people? That's right. That's, that's how right. you know that your vote, your single vote, your vote, look at yourself in the mirror. You right there. <laughs> you. You count. That's it. If nobody else tell you that, Brandy and Kim are telling you, That's you right. count. Your Today. vote counts. You count, period. That's it. That's, That's right. It. So go in there and walk in there with your head high and vote. Yeah. Vote whatever you vote. Just vote, please. Just and, vote. I th- and I think, too, this this whole reflection is is a better understanding of who you are. You know, for me, and and I think you said it before, Brandy, that the pandemic allowed you to look at yourself in a different way uh, Mm -hmm. to 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 see you better. You know, for me, uh, immediately when we went into quarantine, good God almighty, I realized how much time I'm away from my family. Yeah, I realized how valuable my family is. Mm -hmm. So even in I mean, just the self awareness that that occurs through all of this these things that's happening i pray that the vote is another thing that we're looking at and saying look i may have taken it for granted i you know kim had talked about how uh um uh, immigrants and and those who come to the united states mm-hmm. and uh, Naturaliz- naturalization, naturalization. Mm-hmm. how they value that uh being in uh, our dem- democratic system and how they really, really appreciate that. And so, yeah, uh, and, and we also learned that they know a lot about America that we don't. <laughs> right, 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 exactly, so. a lot of stuff. And when I say value, you know, when you, uh, let me say, when you value, it's like when you uh, hire somebody to fix your roof and they oh, halfway yeah. do it, oh. and then you have to get rid of them because it's taking them eight months mm-hmm. just to do your roof, and then you get that other person and they finish it in one day, that's that type of value. That's it. Value that that's person, it. what that's you've it. done, what they struggled, that they went in there and they did their best at 100%. That's, on. that's value. I'm sorry, I just had an incident yeah, with that uh, yeah, yeah. months ago. That's but it is. personal. It, is. <laughs> it was. Value. It's value. <laughs> value in what you do. You value everything else. You should value your vote. You value your family. You value some people value their cars. Yeah, I, I, I'm amazed at some some folks. If if you pay somebody to do something, are you going to be like, no, oh, you didn't you didn't get it done? Oh, okay, that's all right. No, we value that. We we value the money that it, it that it takes, and we we're paying for a service, so we expect it. So even in our vote, 
People value this so much. Right. And we should value who we have in office. That's it. That's it right there. Value. Your voting is showing who you want, how you value your life, how you value your neighbor's life, how you value uh, the United States life, how you value your um, your goals and value your beliefs and stuff. Because if the, if you believe in certain things, if you if you feel that, um, you know, you don't want to pay higher taxes or you don't you want to make sure that families are getting fed, even if your family's getting fed, then you need to go vote. Those are things that are affected. Value value other people's lives go vote value everything that's going on go vote it changes everything you know people think oh well, my vote my voice i don't care you know they don't think about me yeah there's been elections where people have won from one vote yes yes one uh, vote. Who, who, i can't remember we had a guest that yes. was talking about that there was a clark yes 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 so it's 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 important y'all it's important we got to get out we got to do it if you haven't done it, I ain't gonna talk about you. Yeah, but I don't no, want to hear you complain. I'm gonna do it like if you haven't voted mm-hmm. yet, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about you. Mm-hmm. But today is it. Yeah. No more excuses. No more excuses. Go out there and vote, people. <laughs> Thank you for joining us again. We appreciate you. Please share and let folks know that we're here. Next month we're gonna be on a different topic. We're oh, gonna have another a topic. Great, great time, but this month, yes. yes. Yeah. We're in November. Good. Uh, they're starting to run together. 2020 <laughs> is just a big blob of jelly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't even imagine how the holidays are going to be. Lord, oh help goodness. us. Help us, Lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. This is another Let's Talk. More, More action. action.